Hey there everyone, it's Braden here for GSHelper.com and I'm just going to kind of go over the new feature that GameSaw just released last week and that is uh, Universal Binaries or Universal Builds and uh, this allows you to just build one project and uh, deploy to um, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S and below and, uh, and uh, when the user purchases on the App Store they only have to purchase once and it'll work on all of their devices. It's really neat and uh, there's been some uh, confusion on the forums about how to use this and so I thought I'd just go ahead and kinda go over uh, portrait and landscape and how it works and then if we have time uh, going over how to actually publish in the new publishing system um, and so um, before I continue I just wanna say um, cheers to Darren from Deep Blue Apps who actually figured out and took the time to figure out the numbers we need to plug in here um, I just reversed them a little bit for um, for portrait his was actually for landscape so I'm just going to kind of just briefly go over this and uh, to help you uh, get a better understanding. So I'm going to go ahead and turn all of these rules off and I'm going to press preview. And this is an iPad project. You need to make sure that you start on an iPad project, whether that's iPad landscape or iPad portrait. And I've just created three actors and I've put them near the corners of the scene just so that you can see what happens here without doing universal binaries. Uh, this is what it would look like. I mean, w you know, using universal binaries but not changing the scene size, this is what it's pretty much going to look like. So if I change it to legacy iPhone and uh, go to 100% zoom and then do uh, crop, you'll see that it just crops out the actors here, and that's, that's pretty bad. And um, I'm just going to go to iPhone 5 portrait now, and you'll see it does it even more. It's really, really bad. So uh, that's what it looks like uh, if you don't do this method here. So I'm going to start with the iPhone 4. So we're going to just change the uh, device. We're going to create a rule and we're going to change the device uh, screen size height to 480. So this is for iPhone 4S and below. So pretty much the game is going to detect when the screen size is 480. And uh, we're just going to change an attribute. We're going to change the scene camera size width to uh, 862, 862. And then we're changing the camera origin X to negative 46. So we're kind of giving it an offset. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like here. So we just did iPhone 4S and below. So let's go to legacy iPhone portrait. I'm going to zoom in. And uh, I'm going to do crop. And you'll see that they fit right into the corners here. Really nice. Uh, so that solved our problem for the iPhone 4S. And I created another rule for the iPhone 5, and I'm just saying when the game screen size height is 568, that's the iPhone 5 screen uh, screen size there, I'm just changing the scene current um, camera size width to 1024, and then I'm changing the scene camera origin X to negative 128. And... Um, so that's pretty nice and that, that fixes it for the iPhone 5. Let me go ahead and show you uh, iPhone portrait. I'm going to zoom in and I am going to do crop and you'll see that they fit inside. Now the actors are kind of squished a little. Uh, they're kind of squished together um, on the sides here and um, I mean it, it's not too bad. Uh, the user who downloads it on their iPhone 5 probably won't notice it. Uh, since you're the developer you're probably going to notice it a little bit. Um, it's not a big deal. Um, at least it works on the iPhone 5. So let me go ahead and show you the iPad. You probably won't need this rule because um, it's already built for iPad, but I just put it there to show you. So I'm just changing the game scene size height when it equals 124. I'm sorry, 1024. We're just changing the uh, camera size width to 768 because that's the iPad width uh, for portrait. And then we're changing the origin X back to zero. And um, so that's all you need to do to get them to work uh, the universal binaries on, um, you know, iPod, iPhone, and I've tested it and it works great. Um, it works on the iPhone portrait as well, uh, so that works really good. So that's portrait, and I'm just going to go over uh, landscape really quick. Like I said, Darren did uh, do landscape. I'm just going to go over it very briefly here. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm just... Um, changing the attributes a little so um, let me start with the iPhone 4s so instead of saying when game screen size height I'm just saying when game screen size width because it's landscape uh, you keep all of these values they're the exactly the same don't change them 
and um, so this is the only one you need to change here and then there's one here so instead of say saying uh, seeing camera size width we're just changing this to height so pretty much width height that's just all you need to remember if it's height this needs to be width if this is uh, width this needs to be height and so just do that for all of the rules here and uh, just pop them in and you'll be set to go and I'll go ahead and show you here uh, I'll go ahead and show you iPhone landscape. I'm going to go ahead and do 100% and uh, do crop, and you'll see they fit in here. You'll you do notice that they are a little squished, um, and then I can go back to uh, iPhone landscape, and they fit in nicely, much better, and um, and now iPad landscape, and uh, they work fine. Um, so let me go ahead and show you how to publish this. I'm just going to hit publish and it'll upload my game alright and it'll bring me to the publishing page uh, when it loads here here we go alright let's close this one here it is um, now you can choose to create a new game or update existing game I'm just gonna update I'm just going to update this one here. Alright, so you'll notice on the left here we have all of our devices and you'll see the new iOS Universal uh, selection and you can go ahead and select that. It's exactly the same as publishing for iP iPhone or iPad. You put in your nickname, uh, well you don't need the nickname, I'm sorry, the display name. This is what's going to display on the device, uh, what version and then your bundle identifier that you get from your provisioning profile uh, you select the minimum supported uh, iOS version and uh, you tell it which um, support orientations you if you want to enable the glossy icons um, I believe it is uh, automatically set to letterbox you do not want that you want to set it to overscan and that will make sure that it crops and um, you need to make sure that it works you know in the in the viewer um, or in uh, in creator here just like we were doing before you know just changing this and uh, making sure that it all looks good so you want to make sure that it's set to overscan uh, and you can upload your custom images here uh, and choose your iads play haven uh, and all of that and then all you have to do is click generate and it'll generate your app all right and this may take a minute um, so what I'm going to do uh, is I'm just going to pause the video until it's done and I'll uh, just resume it when it's done here so hold on guys alright and we're back I had paused the video to allow the uh, publishing uh, to go through so it would publish and uh, we're back now you'll see that it says your app is ready um, and I can just go ahead and close that now you're going to want to hit sign app and it's pretty much the same process as you're used to. You just choose your provisioning profile, select the destination. Uh, I'm just going to replace it, and then you hit next, and then it would spit out your uh, your dot app, and you'd be good to go. Um, so I hope this was helpful, guys. It's a just a quick one. Uh, just thought I'd uh, try and uh, go over portrait mostly, as landscape had been uh, covered before, and kind of just go over the uh, the publishing system here. It's almost exactly the same. Um, and I know some people were having some trouble with that. So uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.